you feel it in your heart. I mean, every one of these people in one way or another all gave some and some gave all. And, and you know, that, that, that's really a powerful thing. It's so great that they served us just, just for our country. We're here today at the Willamette National Cemetery. It's the Memorial Flag Tribute. My name is Don Thomas, and uh, Ruth Kaiser and I were asked by the cemetery 50 years ago to put the flags on the graves at Willamette National Cemetery. It was fun. Boy Scouts from Thunderbird District started that in 1968. You're here to put flags out? Yeah, we got a lot of cubs coming in. Over 1,400 scouts will put 140,000 flags on the gravestones of the honored dead that are here. To those little ones, after we've explained it for the first time and they get to go do it, Walter, it becomes a very big part of who they are. Lutz. We do a lot of service projects all year long, but this one's our favorite. Us, us Navy World War 11. Yeah, he loves scouts. Just uh, the service projects we get to do. It. Uh, it makes me proud then. Gerald M. House. What father wouldn't be proud of a son who's doing this? Taking time out of his day just to be around here. Peter Frank Gossett, thank you for your service. 1913, April 16. I think it's quite an honor for them to do it. It's, it's, it's cool to see nothing here, and then when you're done, it's, the flags are everywhere, and the red, white, and blue, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's very touching to me. World War II, Korea. I know that many people come from more than just the Thunderbird District area, which is Gresham. U.S. Coast Guard veteran. Joseph Lynn. Benjamin Clifford. Each person that they have. Thank you for your service. They'll read their name of. This may be the only time this year that somebody will stand over their grave and recognize them. God Rich, Oregon. Frederick W. Hiller, thank you. Will be tonight. I start to cry. <sighs> Instant transformation. Sometimes it may take years to make a difference in the life of a scout. In this particular, it happens right before your eyes. And it, it, is, it could choke you up. Wayne Russell O'Brien. And everybody has family and friends that are up here in one capacity or another. Grandfather. Is that his picture? Mm-hmm. This is his picture. He joined in the Vietnam War. Yeah. He passed away in 1994. It was really special to come out and have this experience tonight and be able to show my son where his mm -hmm. grandfather was buried. Take the time, read the name. Thank you for your service. Salute. Give a little respect back each year. Benjamin Irwin, Jr., thank you. Every time when you're done and you look back over the field where you came and you see all the flags planted and, I mean, it's, it's powerful. It'll stir you. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for your service. <laughs>